Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's show where we show you one cool thing which we are checking out here at PC Mag. I'm Sasha Segan. Uh, we're here at CE Week, a uh, trade show here in New York City where we're seeing a lot of cool things and we are doing them one at a time for you viewers to show you what's cool here. And I have Kat from Aura Frames here with two beautiful new digital picture frames from her company. Now, digital picture frames, I feel like they're a thing that we used to see in the world a lot, maybe 10 years ago. And then, and then they kind of vanished for a little while, and now they're starting to come back. So, so what happened? Why did digital picture frames seem to go away, and why are people starting to bring them, bring them back? Sure. Well, I think um, the reason why they started to go away is because they just became quite like almost like a difficult object to have in your home. You always had to update them with an SD card or a USB and people would set them up for, you know, their grandma and load a few pictures on. And then very quickly they become so outdated and nobody ever like can be bothered updating the photos. That was definitely my experience. I got one for my grandma. I had an SD card with pictures of my baby on it. And uh, that baby was stuck at two years yeah. old because I was not updating that thing. Exactly right. And also um, some of the digital picture frames of the past have very poor resolutions. So um, they look quite ugly in your home and they're black and they look cheap and they're plastic. Um, so we've kind of gone ahead and reinvented the picture frame um, with our beautiful smart picture frame Aura um, that looks beautiful and it's very high functioning because it all um, functions through an app on your device. So it's very easy to update and load your photos and it's much user friendly, much more user friendly. Okay, great. So now are these technically the same model or do we have two different models here? No, so they're the um, same frame. Um, this one is our ivory with rose gold trim, and this is our quartz frame with a silver trim. But otherwise, they're the, the same t kind of frame. So one thing I'd like to point out is that this frame can be in either portrait or landscape mode. Yeah. This uh, kickstand on the back can be repositioned. That's right? right. Yeah, you simply just like pull it off here, and then attach it that way. So. I have my frame in landscape mode because I tend to take a lot of my photos, so it optimizes the photo and, um, yeah, they all seamlessly load to the frame. So what's the resolution of the frame here? Um, the resolution is 1536 by 2... 2048? Yes, yeah, right. yeah. I was going to say 2048, but 2048. And that's yeah. very similar to, I'm doing it in my head, that's what, a 5 megapixel photo? Um, I think sure just about. I think it's just about five megapixels. It's a retina display screen and it's mm -hmm. 9.7 inches diagonally. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, very high, very high um, quality. Is it an LCD? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Backlit okay. LCD. Okay, so you said one of the advantages here is that it's much easier to load photos and to update photos. How do you do that? That's right. So um, pretty much you download the Aura app and you um, connect your frame to Wi-Fi, and then as soon as it's connected to Wi-Fi, you can send an unlimited amount of photos to the frame from anywhere in the world, just through the Aura app. Um, so the Aura app copies your camera roll on your device, and we also have some other integrations with Google Photos. Um, and so then you just go into the app and you can manually select photos. Otherwise, we have lots of um, built-in automation into the app, which allows you to easily select either people in your life that you take a lot of photos of, or you can select an entire album um, to send to the frame. How much storage is there on the frame, or is that even relevant in a frame that's connected to the cloud all the time? Yeah, so there's unlimited storage. Um, photo, we have our own encrypted server um, in the cloud, which um, pretty much like syncs with your photos, and then the frame connects to the server and then pulls photos to your frame. So now I think it's important that you mention that it's encrypted. I think a lot of people are uh, concerned about the safety and security, especially of personal photos. Um, what is, what's the security situation with photos coming down to these frames? Um, security, I can't talk to like in a huge amount of detail, but um, you know, our servers are very safe. You have an Aura app that's secure with your own login details and a secure password. Um, and then, yeah, they're saved in our own servers that are lots of safety measures in place to secure 
Now, earlier I saw you, as you were setting these up, you were kind of waving your hands around. What was going on there? So um, there are built-in sensors in the frame. There's a light sensor that um, actually adjusts the brightness for the frame so it's never too bright in your room. Um, and then at night time, the frame actually turns off when the light goes out, so it's very energy conscious. There's also a gesture sensor, so you can change the photo with the wave of a hand. And you can also thank somebody for sending photos to your frame by just gesturing up and then you'll see a little love heart here. So you can have, once more, thing about grandma, you yeah. could have multiple people sending photos to grandma's frame. Yeah, totally. Um, my mum lives in Australia and she has, my mum and dad have their frame in their kitchen and I send them all of my photos from my life in New York. And my sister lives in the UK and she sends photos and my brother of his children and we all contribute photos to mum and dad's frame. Um, so they get new surprises every day. So it's, yeah, it's really great. So now is that the total of the user interface or are there more options? Uh... Like gesturing? Mm -hmm. um, no, so it's pretty much just like gesturing and then you can, as I said before, liking the photo, you can see the date that the photo was taken and the location and who it was shared by, mm -hmm. which is very helpful if grandma has, you know, 15 grandchildren contributing to her frame. Um, now, how about brightness controls mm -hmm. in terms of, uh, you know, I can see you're, you're putting this on different walls, some of them may be in sunlight. Yeah. Um, so the brightness, it does, it does adjust for the room and it's never too bright or never too dark. Um, does a really good job of doing that. But generally, it's, um, it's, I think it's very clear. As you can see, we've got these bright lights shining on it. The yeah. I'm impressed. We have these we have these crazy, crazy stage lights yeah. shining on these frames right now. You guys, of course, don't see them. You're just seeing the effect of them. Yeah. And you can still see these photos, right? Very clear. Yeah, they're beautiful. Um, and there's also a motion sensor built into the frame. So we have lots of, um, I guess, settings in the app. It can be as hands-on or as hands-free as you like. But there's a particular setting called, um, I guess, it's like called smart slideshow. So you don't have a time slideshow set, mm -hmm. but the frame will be change picture based on the environment in the room. Mm -hmm. So it kind of like, acts, it surprises mm -hmm. you. So the motion sensor will detect if you're in front of the frame or interacting with it or moving in and out of the room. Um, so that's really cool. So that's a, one of the third sensors it's built into. Okay, great. Yeah. So uh, this frame is uh, this frame is on the market now. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And how much does it cost? They retail for two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay, and there's yeah. no uh, subscription fee or anything. No like that ongoing either. subscription fees. Unlimited storage, um, and yeah, a beautiful piece of. Uh, I guess, decor for your home. Okay, great. Yeah. So uh, these are the Aura frames. They are classing up the digital picture frame scene, bringing back the digital picture frame as a cloud-connected function that everybody in the family can contribute to. Uh, they're on sale now. Thank you all for watching. This has been one cool thing with PC Mag. Uh, stay tuned to PC Mag's YouTube channel. We will keep having cool things for you.